Hello, and welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. This video is a walkthrough of how to get three stars in Fluffborough for Two Point Campus. This is one of two campuses that unlock when you one star Noblestead, and this is the sixth campus I've completed, and it will mainly deal with academic exercise classes plus a new addition to learn in the game. It's best from now on, instead of focusing on the one star tasks when you start a new campus, is take a few academic years on building a really strong functioning campus that will give good grades, good student happiness and plenty of profit per month. Build the usual facilities that you need along with the new classes, which will be a mix of outdoor and indoor classes. You don't get too many plots, so I bought the plot below the starting plot and made a big section of the campus to squeeze everything you need. If you see my Spiff and More video, then you will have a good idea on squeezing the rooms and what you need. Bathrooms and toilets with 8 facilities, and dormitories with 10 beds. Don't worry about upping rooms ratings until you get enough money. If you keep your students happy, then you'll only need one pastoral and one medical room to begin with. We'll keep everything in check. You will get rivals, so you will need janitors with the security skill. This campus is in a hot area, so instead of radiators to dot around everywhere, you got to install aircon everywhere to turn red into yellow. If it turns blue, then that's too cold. You need to build a level 20 campus eventually, so it's a good idea to take your time before you tackle the tasks. Make sure you got plenty of bins and hand sanitizer, and a fair few janitors, as there is an upcoming task for hygiene to be over 75%. And don't forget staff room, student union and student lounge. I did two private tuition rooms, two staff training rooms and one upgrade room to research the new upgrades for the cheese ball upgrades. And don't forget to upgrade your lecture rooms as well. The first task is to play a match against the best team in cheese ball. Go to your cheese ball class and click on the stadium and pick the match from events. You will automatically lose and you will get your chance and have to beat them in the three star tasks. If you want the achievement of trophy to lose 5 cheese ball matches, which is harder than you think, then restart this campus and repeat 4 more times. To complete the first star task, you have to build the new marketing room and hire a marketing assistant. And you want to do this straight away, only for the reason is, the assistance is always full of marketing assistance until this completes, which gets in the way if you are looking for other specialist assistants. Then use the marketing room to advertise to get more students to join your campus, and that will complete the task. And this is the first room in the game that you probably never really need to use, unless it comes up again in tasks. Getting 30 A grade academic exercise tasks for me was done automatically. I had two private tuition rooms and the students were doing it automatically which was nice. If it's not doing it automatically for you, send B grade students to private tuition to bump their grades up. You have to do 5 level 5 rooms. I would recommend dormitories first for the rent and the student and staff rooms to get more general happiness. And defeat the hog sports at cheese ball. This is done in events like the Jumbo team previously, but first you have to defeat the first team before you get to challenge Hogsports. Janitor required in private tuition. As a student, it can be hard to find time for, well, everything. Multitasking is Here is an overview of my campus. Need to work on the grade average now with upgrading rooms and training teachers.
To complete the two star tests, you have to do campus level 20. I didn't buy any new plots and only put in another medical room to keep up with demand. I spent my time upping each individual room to as much room level as I can. Remember, when putting items in the room, don't put more than three of the same item and only do one poster of each type. This pushed my campus to level 22. I didn't go past level 6 of academic exercise using the campus coins. You have to get the grade average to A if you work on your campus and have every room packed with items and start to train all the teachers and upgrade the cheese ball classes and lecture rooms. If you find you don't get the grade A average at the end of the academic year, expel all your students with B or less and you will get this. You have to win another cheese ball match, this time against the Femington Flop Trotters. I did lose the first one, which is good for the lose 5 achievement, then did it again and then beat them. You have to beat the third team in the list first before you get to face Flop Trotters. And there is an achievement for winning 15 matches, so just constantly do the first team while you are playing for easy wins. To get the hygiene task to 75%, make sure there's a lot of bins and janitors to pick up the rubbish. Plenty of hand sanitizers around the campus and showers and you will find it hard to do during the academic year. What you want to do is wait until you complete a year and before you start a new year, allow the students to enjoy summer and they will do a lot more hygiene now they don't have to do classes. This is a good thing to get into a rhythm into as the students have more fun and increases the happiness level to max and they go in the new year fresh. So every new year allow five minutes of fast time. And here is an overview of my campus after two stars. For the three star task, which was really easy, if you got a good campus going, it only took one academic year. You have to get 20 A plus students to graduate. As long as you've got a happy campus, upgraded facilities to level three, and plenty of high level teachers, you should get this at the end of the year. The 50,000 profit task, like Spiff and More, again is easy with a large happy campus. High room rating dormitories and academic athletics as high as you can using campus coins to bring in lots of students. If you find yourself struggling to make that profit, fire staff which you can rehire later until you reach that profit. Student happiness has to be 70%, another one that should be easy after the two star test. During the academic year, it can be a constant 70%. Like the hygiene test, you can wait until summer break in between academic years when your students don't have to go to class and the happiness will go over that 70%. And the final test is to defeat the Jumbo Mega Team, the last event you can do in the cheese ball class. You need level 17 students to do this, so book the event about halfway during the academic year, when you will start to get level 17 students. Just check on the students list at the bottom left of the screen and go to your year 3 students to see their levels. You also will get an achievement or trophy for beating the team for the first time. No overview, I just bought another plot of land and copied over the same rooms that was below my cheese ball classes. At this point, I also got the achievement for completing 100 upgrades. 
This achievement or trophy is cumulative across all campuses. couple of optional achievements or trophies we can do here, we discussed the losing 5 matches at the beginning of the video, and if you haven't got it yet, use this opportunity to boost this and winning 15 matches if you haven't got them yet, before moving on to the next campus. To lose, pick to face the jumper team and click on the cheese ball stadiums and book the events all year round, for at least 4 matches, depends on how many you need. Then go to the student list at the bottom left of the screen and go to year 3 students and kick out all students that are level 15 or above so there is no chance of winning. Do this Let's before each game begins. Question before we wrap up here. Hmm, here's a good one. What type of wood would you recommend for the furniture in your panic room? Well, you can't go wrong with oak. That baby's a classic for a reason. Me, personally, I like maple. It's heavy, and I like the added water resistance. Plus, it's fun to say, maple. Huh. for comment, the lead groundskeeper referenced the seasons. A sports match is starting on campus. Go team. And to win 15 matches, just stick as many events facing the very first easy team and you will win every match. Your campus should run without any input from you. If you want, while boosting, is to upgrade a teacher to level 5. There is an achievement to do this in each of the 17 courses, which we will cover in the wrap up video, but you might as well go for it while waiting in any boosting achievements you haven't got yet. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, where there are more strategy game videos. Also, the channel has achievement and trophy guides, secret and tips from the latest releases to classic retro games. Thanks for watching.